Um, this thing broke. It fell off the toolbox one time. Help is on the way. Welcome back to CNC Equipment you, YouTube channel. What are you doing, Bubby? It says do not separate right there. It's twice the power. So we had a, a uh, viewer, I think he stopped by and we gave him a hat or something, Donald. Donald D. Smith sent us some uh, seafoam deep creep and it come in a package that says do not separate, so we're not going to separate, are we? No. Uh -uh. <laughs> it's going to be interesting. <laughs> Double the power right there. Yeah. Maybe we should patent this idea. I think we should. Anyway, we appreciate it, Donald. Um, today, we're working on a uh, John Deere 700K. I bought this thing at auction last week out in Pennsylvania. Pretty good machine, but uh, the winch does not work. We'll get junk. We'll get to more on that in a second. I knew the winch didn't work when I bought it. But I've had a lot of people asking about our Harbor Freight toolbox. You guys don't know we're giving this uh, toolbox away here in a couple months. And... Uh, we're getting ready to do a six month, seven month update here on it, aren't we? Mm -hmm. So, what all did we have go wrong? I got Nothing a little that I did. Nothing, yeah, you wasn't over here? Yeah. So we've been using this, our theory behind this, we bought all these tools with my own money. I'm not sponsored by Harbor Freight at all. I bought all this stuff with my own money. So we're putting these things through the paces. We've been using them for quite a while now. Seeing how they hold up for uh, working on heavy equipment. You guys see all the stuff we work on. We've been trying to use these pretty much every day. We do have another toolbox that uh, sometimes some other guys are using and stuff. But for the most part, these tools have been getting used every day. So got some good things and bad things to say about them. But um, for the money, they're still still very affordable. So um, where are we starting at? Just go ahead and hit them with all the bad stuff. We'll just start in the top drawer. What's bad in here? We had to... Air hammer, it lost a piece, but Kevin put this super sweet bolt in it. It's I'm sure still working. It had a plug or something in there. It did. It Air hammer hard. works well. The grinder, I've not had any issues with. No. This is all Hercules stuff. So if you guys don't know, it has like a five-year warranty, right? Three years on the battery. Um, the little cheap die grinder's been doing good. Battery ratchets are okay. The only thing I don't like about these things, that light it goes off it doesn't stay on for you oh. like the Milwaukee's will stay on for a few seconds mm -hmm. and this thing gets caught sometimes it, it sticks better. out but it's easy to turn yes. um, this thing broke <laughs> it fell off the toolbox one time do you know how many times our Milwaukee lights oh, have fell down on the floor go. and they've not broke here we go so we got to take that back this thing broke right off the bat hog the hog ring come off of it that holds the socket on we gotta take it back. 14 cents. This 3 one you can see has still has a hog ring. Now, I will say, and you know this, these two little impacts are not very strong. They're like the old Milwaukee style. So if you've been watching our videos, you'll notice when I grab a little impact, I need some power. You'll see I'll have that Milwaukee in my hand. Those the Milwaukee ones um, are freaking wicked, aren't they? The little ones. The new ones, yeah. yeah. Way they copied these off the old Milwaukee's, but uh, I don't know if I would waste my money buying these models. Maybe. Maybe just need to do little jobs, but some is heavier stuff. Milwaukee has a uh, three eighths and a half inch version of these. It's brushless. These are brushless too, but um, they're just not the same. Um, the big impact is pretty much copied off of Milwaukee. It's been doing okay. Um, drill's been doing okay, I guess. Yep. I've not had no issues. So. Have we not used this saw much, have we? we don't At all? Too, we don't get too have we even used off, this? Maybe. Um, drill bits doing okay. The only weird thing about their drill bit sets, they don't have. Uh, is this drill bits? You're supposed yeah. to be helping me open this stuff. I'm trying to hold the camera. I'm holding the door open. Well, we've already broken and lost some. They don't really have um, sizes in between to give you doubles. Like we got two eight inch, which is fine. Two quarters, then one five sixteenths, one three eighths. I mean, if you're going to do doubles, you should give a guy another three eighths, right? That's right. 
But sometimes when we drill a 3 8 hole, we like to drill a size bigger to get a bolt in, right? That's right. They don't have those, but drill bits have been doing okay. Step bits, I think they're okay. Yeah. I will say these um, burr bits, these things are actually pretty good. They're expensive, but we've been using these for a while in the shop and some other places. So That's about it here. So tools, electric tools, kind of so-so. We got wrenches. That's right. The wrenches are copied off the of snap-on. You guys know I bought a set of snap-on wrenches and they're like copied to the teeth. The only thing I will notice, um, the steel in these things is a little bit softer. You guys can see we got some uh, metal kind of disc forming there, but I mean they're, I was trying to look for some of the other ones we use all the time. Um, one's a 19 millimeter, but the metal may be a little bit softer and we've not broke anything yet. The ratchet wrenches are copied. They're pretty much the same brand as the Napa Carlyle ones. I've not had any issues out of the wrenches. Like I said, I think the metal may be a little bit str or a little bit softer in them. You got some. I'll just get all the poop out of this. Oh, I mean somebody fine. put tools up without them, without cleaning them up. You can see. You see they've took a little a little abuse, but not bad. Um, look at these bigger wrenches. I mean. They're not bad, and they are way cheaper than a snap-on. The, uh... Yeah, this whole <laughs> drawer is cheaper than one set. Yeah. Oh, the, yeah. Yeah. I know just one set of metric ones is like $500. It's ridiculous. I bought a set. I'm not even using them yet. They're sitting over in the box. I'm scared. <laughs> um, again, this is all with Icon stuff. Yep. Extensions. I don't think we've had any issues. We've got swivel joints there. Um, you, you this had thing, the very beginning, you had this thing here, this oh, impressed me. Go ahead, tell them about it. I'm gonna throw a little video clip in here. I had a freaking, what's that, 10 ton water power pushing on this thing. You guys have seen the video, and it did not break. The head did not break, the gears or nothing like that. Okay. So we were in a tight place and couldn't get a bolt loose. Hopefully, I can find that video there. You guys can see that. But, uh, Best twenty dollar wrench you ever bought. Um, we've not broke anything yet. Knock on wood. In this door the only thing i hate we got nut drivers over here anybody's worked with nut drivers comment below what color is a 5 16th nut driver <laughs> it's supposed to be yellow right <laughs> where's our 5 16th nut driver oh look it's blue 5 16th nut drivers are yellow quarter inch is red right sure. quarter inch is not oh, red in harbor, harbor freight, freight. It's, not. it's the only thing that uh, i don't like about those now these little picks we bought for what a dollar ninety nine they've been holding up. Yeah. Um, what else we got? Sockets. Sockets. They've been up. doing fine. We look at uh, one we use a lot, fifteen sixteenths. <laughs> How about this one? Just <laughs> <laughs> full, 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 full of dirt. Huh. Eighteen. Don't millimeter. worry, we'll clean these up before we give them away. <laughs> yeah, you guys wonder if you're gonna get junk. <laughs> oh, what? A, look at this one. It's covered in oil. We should, we should I thought you cleaned one. this up before we started this video. No. Oh, anyway. Oh, it's natural environment. All these tools, we'll go through and replace these right before you guys uh, win these. So you guys will have all new tools. Now the sockets and stuff, probably not unless they're broken or trash. So, yeah. But uh, their sockets been holding up good. You might notice we got some Napa Carlisle ones over here just because. Um, inch and three sixteenths or 30 millimeters is a popular size. For some reason they're set to skip that. We got some inch and a half sockets we use a lot over here. So but uh Good we won't worry about that we're moving on people are getting bored here what we got down here pliers so far so good i guess in plier drawer i know hunter broke the ends off these uh queen snips but probably doing stuff he wasn't supposed to be i'd doing. say so um, you love these don't you those are not well those are pittsburgh you too get some mega leverage with these we've not used all these yet but yeah they've and so far so good on that pry bars i know these have been holding up good pittsburgh's some of these are kind of flaky but um all that stuff's been doing pretty good it's all dirty you guys can see i don't know this drawer here those crescent wrenches <laughs> you have to admit they are crap if you wiggle them yeah these things i wouldn't recommend buying any pittsburgh crescent wrenches if you're going to use them every day these things, you put them on a bolt, and as soon as you turn that bolt, they just keep opening up wider. So if you keep doing that, they just keep getting wider and wider. I would not recommend the uh, Pittsburgh adjustable wrenches. 
Five per inches seem to be doing okay, but yeah. <laughs> even you're going to admit those things are done. So. Uh, screwdrivers. You I'm not, have not broke one of the hollow handle icons yet. I've not, but I don't think I've even reached for these things. Oh. They're screwdrivers. I'm not happy with any of your screwdrivers, period. <laughs> I don't know about you. They're just, they don't feel right. I don't know. <laughs> these Quinn's got weird shaped tips on them. Um, I mean, they've been working, but look at you laughing over there. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, these aren't even hardly been used. Uh -uh. We've been using them, but I don't know. I'm not. This one's broken. Is it? We need to take that one back. We got to go to Harbor Freight here one day. You know that? Okay. So I guess the only good thing about Harbor Freight, there's stores everywhere. So yeah. the hammer's been doing just fine. I've not had any issues with them. Not broke anything yet. So. Well, we can play. This one's just starting to get broken in though, see it? Yeah. It, it needs condition. <laughs> it's getting there. That drawer, got this Harbor Freight light in it. It's okay. Still working. It's just, fine. it's just big and bulky. That's other stuff down there we don't need. It doesn't come with it. We got over here sockets. Colored sockets. Colored sockets. They didn't have, some of these are Icon sockets and some are what, Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh sockets? Yeah. They've been holding up okay. I noticed the chrome peeling off a couple of these. Like this is a, uh, was it, 9 sixteenths? You guys can see the chrome's coming off that already. Yeah. So it's not, uh, you guys can kind of see that's, now we've been using impacts on these chrome sockets. Just we're just, here to party. Just because we can, but. Uh, <laughs> we had to make sure they were ready for whoever. I'm going to say next. these sockets aren't top of the, qual top of the line quality, but uh, and we had a lot of people commenting if you um, need one socket replaced, you got to bring the whole set in there. Now, our Harbor Freight says you lose one socket, our local Harbor Freight, you can just take that one socket in and get it replaced. A lot of people say you got to take the whole set in there and say if you lose one out of the set, they're not going to take it back. Our Harbor Freight will replace just one socket, and I can tell you that's true because you go in the store and they'll, they'll pull one socket out of the set here, they'll hang that whole set back up on the wall and mark reduced price on it. Then you send like somebody like our wives or kids in there to buy a set of sockets and they'll just, oh, that's cheap. And they buy it and it's missing a 916. So They were on sale. Yeah. Sockets, so-so. This drawer's not really organized yet because huh. we never got a socket rail. Oh, I still got those at my house. Yeah. We need to get, <laughs> we need to get some holders. Uh, Allen Bits been doing so-so. I don't have any complaints yet on them. No. Good. We've not broke anything. We've not used a whole lot in this drawer. I forgot all these files. Look at all these blow guns I can never find. <laughs> not done much in that drawer. Chisels. We did buy two sets of chisels. We had a viewer give us these. Yep. When we went to the meet and greet down south. So yep. we've been using these. One of them's got, yeah, that one's yours. That's right. We've even bent that one. You bent it? Is it not Oh, bent? yeah, just a little bit. Didn't these are nice and clean. What about these? We've nice. still not used those. Maybe you can climb up the wall later in this video. Okay. Uh, Pittsburgh chisels. I will have to say, I mean, that one took some damage. We've not broken any yet. There's something to be said about that, I guess, huh? What we got down there? No one knows about this drawer. Oh, that grease gun is a POS. You guys seen that right off the bat. It, it didn't even work out of the box. Yeah. Matter of fact, it's leaking grease in yeah, the box. Yeah, Mason got it out yesterday. I thought, Mason, go put that back. <laughs> We need to take this thing back and get a new one because it's... Uh, it never worked to begin with. No. It and had, someone had it before us. It had grease in it, so I'm not sure if it, uh, if it even was right to begin with. But anyway, is that it? A potential good oh, battery. the earthquake over here. Oh. It's, it took a dump too already. Has it? Yeah, it don't work. Oh, you broke it. It's a strong impact, but um, literally guys put one set of undercarriages on and it's doing a... Psh, psh, so it needs taken back. Um, I will tell you, we did buy a couple snap-on impacts. These don't come with this toolbox. This thing here has a little bit more power than Earthquake. Not much, but um, the Earthquake has already took a dump now. We can take it back in there and get it replaced, of course. But I think these only have, what, a one-year or three? One-year one year warranty. I did buy the extended warranty, so. Yep. Um, that snap-on impact, 600 and some dollars, that half-inch drive one. Or this one's, what, 100? 100, I think. 110, or I don't know. I can't but, uh, I mean, 
it's way less than that. Again, if you guys ain't using this stuff every day, or you're just starting out, and you can go to Harbor Freight every night and get your tools replaced. <laughs> oh, every night. <laughs> still the way to go. Oh. But here's some issues we've had. We've wrote down some. Grease gun, that's when we got it, 4-1. Quarter inch drive, extension. Remember, I had to do some filing on that. It didn't fit the socket. Yep. Uh, three pound hammer, I had to put another wedge in the handle. Small half inch hog, it broke the hog ring, broke the light, half inch air impact broke. I mean, it's not too bad, I guess. We do need to go see Harbor Freight again. Okay. So all in all, they're doing okay. Um, yeah. I mean, you can't complain for the money. I had the Snap-on guy price out this set with the toolbox. You know how much it was? I think it was like $28,000. That's not including any battery tools either. Because I think their battery tools are overpriced. So we bought this what seventy five hundred or so. This whole setup. It even comes with that from Red Dog. <laughs> are you going to donate that to the cause? So anyway, there is a link down below. There's a video. You watch it. You can enter to win this toolbox here. In a few months, like say we'll have it all tip top shape and all that good stuff. But Hercules batteries have been holding up. We've not had any of those crash or anything yet. Um, I like Milwaukee batteries. Do you know how old some of these Milwaukee batteries oh, are? Oh uh, yeah, so so. Like I say, the battery door, those two little impacts. I don't know. They're not the greatest. They're not. Now, if you guys are just working on cars and stuff, they're probably fine. Yeah. That half inch impact, we've not been easy on it too. Like I say, we're doing track pad undercarriage changes. The guys just using these every once in a while. I'm still thinking they're not a not a bad option. I mean, you can buy the warranty and you're still, I mean, that thing's $600. That green three quarter inch one over there, that was a thousand bucks. Yeah. <laughs> you have to admit though, they are nice impacts. They are. They're strong they and they're are. fast, but and the reason I bought those, they have a, they've got, I don't know, a year warranty on them, but they have a repair and replace just a flat rate on them for the life of the tool. So that to me was pretty important. We've been buying the Napa and the Ingersoll's and after a fact they get so expensive to repair you're better off just replace them so well we're kind of rough too because we go after four oh, yeah. bolts per pad yeah non-stop just hammer them. we do put oil in them occasionally some people do oil oil anyway yeah we're hard on them changing undercarriages so we're uh we're putting them through probably some of the worst conditions but anyway that's uh that is it on that how do you feel about it i still like if a young guy starting out and don't want to go in debt, I couldn't imagine spending $28,000 on a toolbox when I'm 18, 20 years old, and you're going to be paying on that forever. Um, where you can go spend seven or $8,000 and be completely set. And that way, even counting battery tools, you'd be over 30 grand battery tools yeah. from Snap On. But uh, yeah. But yeah, I mean, far as longevity for the rest of your life, they may not hold up, but you know, it gets a guy started. You're always going to have another garage. You get your house built, established, you need some tools for your garage, you go put those in the garage. You want to go buy some nice tools later on, you can. So, But uh, anyway, we're going to get in today's project. If you guys got any comments on those tools, drop them down below. Bought this 700J here. Um, it's got a winch on it. I think it came from a pipeline company. I'm not sure. I was looking at some of the old names on the side of here. But you guys seen us work on these winches before. This is a John Deere 4000 winch. If you can look here, this thing has not been used at all very much, has it? They've not run this cable in and out here very many times. I got a few marks down here, but all the paint's still on it. Nothing's broke. This tractor has 4,500 hours or so on it, um, but the winch does not work. So up there where the winch handle is, I had a block of wood in there, had it blocked out. Um, and the control cable, we'll pull this cover off here in a bit. The control cable had the pin out of it and was not hooked up. So at the auction, I actually put a pin in there and uh, still is not working. It is full of oil. You guys know these are self-contained. They got their own little oil pump and stuff in it. I've got a pretty good idea of what it is. Um, yeah, it's making a couple noises when we started up, like oh, yeah? like whining pump and gear noises. <laughs> I'm guessing this thing's been on the back of this tractor since new, and they've not used it. And there's a little pump in there. You guys may have seen on the video a little pump and a little gear in there. It supplies oil to the winch and that uh, turns the whole time while that drive shaft's turning. So it has. 4,000, 5,000 hours on it, and this thing's not been used. So, um, if they run this thing out of oil at any point in time or it run out or something, that little pump burns up and 
just kind of self grenades. It's kind of a, I'm going to say a weak point on these. Anybody that's had any of these knows that those little pumps are not the best. Um, I personally keep them in stock if that tells you anything. So we're going to get this cover off here and uh, we'll bring you guys back in here. There's probably a uh, test port we'll hook into and see if we got any pressure. I'm guessing we have no pressure. I just noticed you got a bigger impact out while ago. Did the little one not cut it? No, the hog. Every time I do this, it falls off. It didn't have any power. It had to I'm power. Gonna, I'm going to grab this Milwaukee impact so you guys know what I'm talking about. If you guys are... These Milwaukee tools are good. If you guys are looking for an impact, this little, this is a 3 h drive one. Mason must have the half inch one out. Yeah, right down here. These little things right here are the bee's knees, aren't they, Mason? Mm -hmm. They are way much stronger than the uh, Harbor Freight ones, but you guys can see the numbers are wore off of them. That's a 2962 20 on the half inch drive one, but those things are twice as strong as those Harbor Freight ones for sure. Did you get her, Bubby? Well, no. Harbor Freight's letting you down? No, that's not it. Somebody at this bulldozer is letting me down. Oh. We got 15s, 16s, and 17s. Oh, one of those things. Yeah. I've got a mysterious to lose all these bolts before this video is over. Pretty, pretty sure we've got new bolts. So this pin was out of here at the auction. And I put the pin in there. Still did not work. I did check the oil with it running. Um, What's that? Well, that's another pin I found at the auction I was trying to stick in there, oh. but it had too much slop in it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like borrowing things off other pieces of equipment, but I borrowed this pin off a uh, machine that had a third valve, and the third valve is not being used, so oh, okay. nobody's going to miss it. Mm. I don't usually do stuff like that, but... Um, <laughs> I think this is a test port for the pressure, and if you, you can see that there, it kind of looks like somebody's been in there. <laughs> the paint's busted off of it. <laughs> we probably should get a gauge and make sure we don't have pressure first. Um, I think we got a brake test port and a free spool port here, but we need to see if we have main pressure. These things run like 275 pounds of pressure. Are we leaking? Is that all this is? Leaking? Something's leaking. Let me start it up and double check the oil. Um, we'll start it up for these people and uh, they can listen to this noise. And get that pin back in there. Make sure that uh, everything's working here. So Kevin's going to show you the piece of wood that had blocking the handle out. Oh yeah. So you couldn't use it. You like that? That was in there doctrine. <laughs> it used to have a winch, but it doesn't anymore. <laughs> so, you're going to fire that thing up, and I'll check the oil on it, make sure that we do have oil. I did check it at the sale. You guys listen here real close. You're probably going to hear some uh, little whining, whining noises here. got to check the oil on these things with them running. Right there above the pull line. You want to move the handle a little bit? Yeah, move, that. move the control. You guys hear that ringing? That's that pump and that gear in there. He's moving the control handle right now. We don't have anything happening. So this is a power in and power out winch. But she don't work, Bubby. You guys hear that clanging in there when it shut off? I guarantee you that's that pump rattling around in there, so we're gonna be should we just hook a should we just, just throw it away. Did you hear that clanging and danging in there? Oh yeah. 
So we could just crack this open, see if we have any wool coming out here without putting a gauge on it. Are you looking up there? Oh, this one's yeah. Are you want me to put a gauge on it and do it the right way? I mean, there's two ways to do things. I guarantee there's no wool coming out of there. Okay. You want to do you it? Guaranteed it. That, I'm going to guarantee it. Just pull the plug off and start it up. That's how, that's how this day's going to go. Okay, I can hear it. It's not working. Oh! It's metric, Bobby. That's how my day goes. Tell me to shut it off either. I'll be like this. Yeah. So we pulled the pressure sensor out. This is actually the port where you test the pressure. This thing was not even hooked up. This is not the right way to do things, people, but this is how Kevin's doing it today. I'm pretty sure there's no oil pressure it's going to come flying out of there. No oil, Bob. No Niagara Falls today. Don't try that at home, people. Huh? Don't try it at home. Maybe after we fix it, we can... Uh, we can do it again. Yeah. Uh-huh. I don't think so. Uh -huh. All right, we're gonna put that back in here. We're gonna yank this thing off here, and uh, I'm pretty sure I know what it is. So. Mm. I hope I do. If not, I'm gonna lose a whole bunch of money. All right, got the drive shaft unhooked. We got the uh, control cable unhooked. I had to get out a special tool. I don't know what you call these. I think it's something for eating, but they got these quick disconnects every once in a while. I'll show you when we get out there later, but yeah, arrow quip. Quick disconnect. You slide that tool in there and it pops that line off. I'm not sure if that's the greatest idea ever. The wool is nice and clean in it. Almost like it's brand new. Yeah, it is. Somebody's done the strippy strip on that one. Yeah, I tried to get this in there. Huh. I'm gonna take this top plug out. That's where I fill it up anyway. I want to loosen it up. I know there's way more oil in that in there. Nah, pork. Well, yeah. well, well. If that pump's not working, though, it won't pump oil. So there's a dipstick that comes up here. That pump's not working. I wonder. It's got me thinking. So this whole cavity fills up to about right here with oil. There's a standpipe that comes up here. And that pump is obviously not working. So that pump has its own little oil pan, and that's where we checked that oil later or earlier. Um, and it pumps oil into this cavity, and it fills this cavity up. Once it gets up the standpipe, it runs back in that standpipe back down and into that oil pan again. So that definitely confirms that that oil pump is not working. All right, we're about ready to unbolt this thing here. We gotta take the hitch off first, and we're gonna unbolt it from the tractor. Kevin's got a couple more lines over here we gotta take off once we get it out a little bit, so. Yeah, it's, that's missing like uh, seven gallons of oil. You remember that steel tube that comes up here? Yeah, yeah. So that oil pump fills this cavity up, and then it runs back in that tube, so. It's obviously not getting oil, but it had oil in the oil pan, it just wasn't picking it up, so. What are you doing? Testing out this half inch ratchet that I said was so good. Huh. Oh yeah, Bob. Got it. All day. <laughs> Ratchet still survived. I left the bolt stuck in there for you. <laughs> well, you know we got a half inch breaker bar, right? No. This is Go Go Power Ranger. Oh. It's morphin' time. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? The uh, Napa Carlisle socket don't like the Harbor Freight uh, oh. like two breaker bar. Cats. They just don't like it. You no, know, so I took the slide, it was easy. Go, go, Power Ranger! Oh yeah. oh, yeah. Look at all that power. It was so tight that the snap on wouldn't break it loose. Alright, typical auction, auction fact. I told Kevin to go under there, take the two bolts out underneath. He's like, I can't find them. <laughs> They've been cut off with the torch. There's two bolts up under here. You guys probably can't see then I'm looking at these those are tight but they're not running all the way someone said send it to auction Some, We're done. yeah <laughs> that's my life oh look at you got one of those bolts over too with the magic floating washers <laughs> yeah. let's see if any of those come out oh nice and tight 
Good and tight. Are you okay? I thought I saw it coming down. It's kind of dirty. Hmm. We got two bolts way up there in landfill land. Just amazes me how dirty these things get. I think we're gonna block those ports off and then go see Mr. Randy. Up off. We can probably put a socket on these, buzz these out, and then put um, the right plugs in there. All right, well, Kevin's been out there washing and cleaning some things up. We got our do not separate deep creep here. I'm gonna spray it around these bolts that were cut off. I did grind them a little bit. I'm gonna weld a couple nuts off, and, or weld a couple nuts on there and see if we can get these things out. All right, had to be a little patient, but we did get them out. I had to spin them back and forth. We used our do not separate sea foam, and it did the trick. So we're uh, good to go. I ran a couple bolts, good bolts back in those holes, made sure the threads are good. But uh, guys may have seen I welded those things up. They're still hot. I put way more weld than what I needed to in there, but uh, I got them super hot, so I put some heat back that bolt. Actually kind of breaks some of that rust loose, so it wasn't necessary to fill that plumb full of weld, but like say, that extra heat sometimes helps break things loose and helps suck some penetrating fluid in there too. Where you been? I went over it and over it and over it. Got it as best as you could. What well, looks like new in here? Hey, I used a deep creep while you're gone. Oh. I've been using the right bank, so you're left-handed, you can no, use the I'm left bank. Both. Oh, I did that a couple times. Double bit I got those broken bolts out there for you. Oh, They're well, not happy. I thought they nice of you. Well, we need to take this mount plate off. And then we got to take this cover off is where the little pump's at. It's right in, back in behind here. Mm -hmm. Fun times. So those bolts that you've been washing for the last two hours are <laughs> way up in there. <laughs> two hours. We got the winch laying on its back here. I do have a engine stand that will mount to this, but this operation is not super critical. If we was taking the whole winch apart, we'd probably. It's almost like somebody just put this filter on here a couple days ago. If you were trying to fix something, did you miss the hole? There you go. Oh, pressure washer man, what happened? <laughs> hey, I did the best I could. <laughs> Alright, I want to start getting some bolts yanked off here. We're going to go ahead and take this oil pan off. It's not super duper necessary. 
but uh, I'm worried about that gasket leaking in between there. Who knows if they've had this apart. It doesn't look like it. I see paint on there, but while we're in here, we're going to take that paint off. This is the oil paint where that pump picks up at. And then we'll pull this back cover off. And once we get all that stuff off, we'll bring you guys back. Um, I did pull my little pump and gear out of the parts room. Trying to be proactive. Hopefully that's what that is. We'll find out here shortly. Yeah, we got the oil paint off. <laughs> we did find a little piece in here, and I'm pretty sure I know what that is. I believe that is a locking washer for the little nut that's on this pump right here. Famous for breaking off. It's got a little bit of metal come out of the magnet and oil pan. Nothing major. So they got uh, prior locations. There's two on the bottom corners, and there's one up here on these covers. You see, you gave me the little pry bar. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That must be nice to have a big pry bar. Buddy. There you go. I gave you this one. I got the cover line up here and uh, did you get the outside cover off not yet I can see in here that that pump gear is uh, left the chat we get that cover off you might have some surprises when that comes off oh, <laughs> what's that everything else has been really stuck and then I just use a hammer and come up here and as soon as I rested on it it fell out Careful, there's some, there's things back behind there. Oh, let me get my super sharp knife out. Ow. Oh, you're just gonna... Get a knife 5,000. There's a snake gonna come out there and get you, I'm telling you. Oh, hey, mister. You're supposed to keep... Something, something doesn't appear right here. You're supposed to keep your gear on. There's a nut. Oh, we just put it back in there and tighten it up and we're done. Okay. It's fine? Done. Done. Uh, well, you gotta get it to sit in there, right? My suspicions were correct. Is that pump still good? I don't know. No. In the shaft tore up on it. Uh, yeah. yeah. Gear here has got a little. We may have to clean the teeth up on this yeah. where it's been in there rubbing. So, this um, right here is where the drive shaft this spins all the time. And this little pump right here has got a little flaky nut on it. A little tiny gear, it should be built heavier duty. It should have like a through shaft with a bearing over here, would be the smart thing to do. But John Deere knows it's a problem too, I bet. We'll have to take this apart and clean that teeth up on that gear it actually rides back in here not that's just from that gear bouncing around so I don't think that's gonna hurt it too much but well, luckily I have all the parts in stock and the gasket so we Where's can stick it right way? back together the keyway left to chat too huh keyway's gone maybe it's on your little is that what the keyway is what do they call that what's that Rare that stuff that like grows um black pipe no, what's that crap you bought on TV? You buy the little heads and it grows hair out of it. You know what I'm talking Chia about? Pet? Chia pet. It oh. looks like a chia pet. Are those still a thing? Oh, yeah. I bet you had one as a kid, didn't you? Probably. <laughs> all right. We're going to uh, get this all tore apart here. I'm going to take these lines out, get this pump out of here, and uh, get her cleaned up and put her back together. 
All right, got the pump out. The shaft is definitely tore up. Left the chat. Well, we got some teeth to clean up here, bucko. Now everybody's gonna start calling you that. Why are you filming me? Nothing. We were just talking about these <laughs> Harbor Freight wrenches and their finishes starting to blemish. I don't know what you're talking about. Holding up strong, Bob. Holding up strong. Sorry, everybody. We got everything cleaned up for the last time. Hey, we have got everything cleaned up here. See? see? Unless just... you want to go to Miss C&C channel and be all bored out, right? <laughs> Cause she filmed all of it. We got interrogated. You go back a couple months on her channel, you'll see what you're talking, you're talking about. Okay, back to pump time. Alright, Kevin got this gear looking like a brand new one, didn't you? Perfect. Perfect. Just got a little more beffle on one side. But she'll be fine. We got our new gear laying up there. Uh, it's putting the new fittings in the pump with our wrench there, as you've seen. We actually have a keyway in this one now. We don't know where the other one went, so... <laughs> Pull that out of the way. Um, I did restock my supply, so I've got another pump and gear. If you guys are ever in the neighborhood or close by and need something like that, I do keep those in stock. I also keep all the seals in stock, kind of for ourselves. but uh, I went through and reordered all the seals and gaskets again, because we do this stuff quite often, don't we? Yes. So, uh, we got to put the input shaft back in. You took it apart, so I don't know how it come apart. Okay. So we had to take the input shaft out to get that gear that Kevin cleaned up to do a good job on it. And when you do that, it, you have to take the seal out, and there's a snap ring here. So, got everything over there new. What'd you do? I do have to take this stuff off. All the snap ring you put back on, you said you didn't need to? Yeah. yeah. And now you're on TV. That's okay. That's what happens. I could edit it out, but I don't know. But I won't. But I won't. <laughs> all right, we're going to get all this stuff put back in there. You guys kind of see the drill. It's nothing fancy or special, so it's just a simple gear with a not a big enough shaft on it. So. Maybe John Deere's watching. I guarantee they know this is an issue. Um, aftermarket Paint Valley Equipment is making these gears. So um, this gear from John Deere is thousand eleven hundred dollars. Woo! Right? That pump's eleven hundred from John Deere. All I can tell you is my prices are about half of what John Deere is. So <laughs> we can also get that gear too. Paint Valley's making it aftermarket. So. important if you guys do call up and talk to Jay or Scott if you got a part number for him too it helps them out a lot so how you like it Pete Jackson Pete Jackson noisy gear drive right. did you get any Loctite on, like on the on you, the no you set me up you, you gotta, hit the case while I was trying to do it I told you it was like <laughs> mamaw gotta, when she puts her lipstick on it just went all over the so we did Loctite that. I don't think we Loctite it originally. I'm going to wipe all this off. <laughs> and you're going to bend those two little ears over that somebody's screaming at us right now for. <laughs> we wanted to put this yoke on her. Got a new seal on her. Make sure everything was good. I like how it feels. We got good, good teeth around there. So we're ready to assemble this dude back together. Well, I'm going to get it over here. And then you're going to relocate your sausages.
All right, got the mount on her. Got her ready to stick back on there. We gotta fasten a couple hoses up here first. Then we'll get her bolted up. Come on in, Bubby. Two's always better than one, bub. It's the deep creek. It clearly says that. What's on there? The that deep creek. Deep creek. Beer sent to us. Give it the fangs. I, it's already cooled down. Go! Yep! That looks like chain loop. I don't know what the point of that was. Right in there? Hmm. I hear impact doesn't work. Hmm. It's not gonna work. Deep creep. Oh! Okay. Take two. All right, boys are working on some broken bolts on some uh, track covers. We got this thing full of oil. Let's put this plug back in here. You uh, turn the disconnect on. I'm gonna see what his gears sound like here shortly. I don't sound good. Did you hear that pop? Well, I thought I heard something pop, but maybe not. It could have been them boys. Did you hear it when it first started? Well, it scared me, so we pulled that cover back off where that pump's at, but nothing broken. Well, that's good. Yeah, I guess we'll put it back on and Maybe we should start it up and see if it spins. I thought about that. We could sling a little bit of oil, but not much. Maybe you want to real quick? Just Let me see that mirror. Do it to run. Yeah. It's all turning and puking oil out everywhere. Well, that looks good. I'm gonna put the cover back on there. Try it again. It's all turning, shafts turning. Those teeth, sounds like a Pete Jackson gear drive. There's only a few of us that know what that is. <laughs> Can you slip that cover back down in there? We'll get her put in there. That worried me. I think them boys is beating and knocking on something.
Okay, we'll get that put in there and try it again. What in the hell do you have there, buddy? I thought it would make him a lot more productive if he could use both hands at all times. I feel like a working old Navy, you know? I'm like, hey, uh, can Where do you talk into that thing at? Right here's the microphone. Hey, look at here. I'm hearing it right here. It's like aliens in my ear. Is somebody talking on it? Yeah. I call you right now. I'm calling him. No, I'm calling him. Hey, we got three different lines for you. <laughs> Which one do I pick here? Uh, Roger, you can go ahead. It's your quarter. Ain't nobody answered yet. I got it. No, I got him. Oh. Jay's gonna get your line though. Is Uncle Scott there? You got him. What's that noise? Line for you. Chip, Clinton Chitwood's calling right here. Nuh-uh, I just hung up. Hello? Uh, yeah, this is uh, Michael with PayPal. <laughs> we got, our PayPal got your, hacked. Did you update your uh, password? <laughs> <laughs> no Why are you talking so quiet into that? <laughs> I don't know. How loud should I talk into it? Can you hear me now? Clip it I, on your whoa. collar like you're supposed whoa. to. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, right on your nipple. <laughs> no, I don't Ow. think so. <laughs> We're getting way off track here. Um, let's put a let's put a little bit more oil in here. The only thing that you're gonna hear is your chin when you. Did go we to... order this or just find it today? No, it came free with the phone. I ordered it. I she, wanted she to paid be more for it. <laughs> All right, Ben messed us. We do have oil pressure. We got the free spool. We're adjusting this uh, turnbuckle here. Uh, I think somebody's been adjusting it. You want to try it again, Kevin? This is a power in and out winch, so it's got a couple more things you got to mess with. All right, we're going in. That's in. You got out. Power out. Put it in free school. You got free school. You don't have power out. Alright, I think we got it. Free school. That's power out. Okay. Power in. We'll have to wind this up better after a bit. Alright, how about free spool? Yep. Perfect. Wind her up a little. Got her fixed. Good. Hey, you did it. How are you guys doing over here? Breaking bolts off? Hey, do not separate, Bubby. I'm pulling off mine. Ratchet. Right you weld you another nut on there? Yeah, I did it with double iron. Hey. That's not flammable. We fixed it. You can put your cotter pin in now. Okay. Now you know why I told you not to put your cotter pin in. Oh, Sheila. Sheila. <laughs> What's all this oil? Well, you know, I was spraying oh. deep crate and WD 40, and we had oil flinging out of that hole. Oh. We do have a Pete Jackson gear job, but I think it'll be fine. It's working its way in. It's, yeah. I'm not concerned about it. A straight cut gear is a noise anyway, right? That's right. Isn't that what Pete does? That's right. Extra noise. That's how we like it. What do you think? We're about done with this project, That's aren't we? That's right. Wrap it up. We're going to wrap this up. Like how are you boys doing over here? It's done other than the 50,000 bolts that have broken off. Well, hopefully you guys liked our little winch repair video. It actually went in my favor for once, which never happens. But uh, you guys liked your video. Do you know what this is? Yeah. World's smallest violin. World's smallest violin. I thought that meant money or a little no, bit. No, it's a little bit. you a sob story right now. Can't you hear it? <laughs> so anyway, this repair, dollar-wise, uh, parts are about... About thirteen, fourteen hundred dollars, fifteen hundred. We got wool too and stuff. So um, we got labor. Uh, two guys here. We've been messing with the two for probably special labor too. Ten, twelve hours labor in it, but uh, not a huge fix. But hey, we fixed a winch. Hey, you need my help? No, we're good. We fixed a winch. It's pretty much brand new. So. Oh, that's 
anyway hope you guys like it. if you did do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button down below it helps us out a lot so people keep watching our stuff if you guys want to win these tools make sure you go and watch that video down below so you can enter and win that um the stuff is doing okay i'm not gonna not gonna bash on it too hard but i know there's like some people that uh been comparing these uh or that earthquake impacts that snap on when they're brand new and they're showing they're stronger i don't know where they get that information at but in the real world testing i can tell you that that snap on impacts a little bit stronger so make sure you watch your channel watch my channel or your channel hey we promoted your channel when? in the episode when while we were out yeah here. We said watch your channel. If you want to see all the boring stuff that we've done, like grinding gaskets, go see Miss CNC's channel. Hurtful. <laughs> we don't show that stuff. We said we were in the middle of an interrogation. Hey, if you want to feel good about yourself, come watch my channel. <laughs> but if, if you want to I told them they have to go you... back two months to see it, though. And, but, you know, and you have to find it on your own because he's not going to tag it and link it I forget it by the time the I edit these videos. So, I appreciate you finding my channel on your own. Thank you. <laughs> anyway. Guys, guys. <laughs> Hurtful. Heart. My heart hurts. It's all fun and games. Is it? We're, yeah, don't be Is getting it? people started. <laughs> anyway, don't forget to win that. And uh, got any questions, comments about any of that stuff, drop them down below. I try to read all of them, me and uh, Hunter, Hunter do. So, you're going to break another bolt off here, bud. Don't be spraying deep. Oh, you got power lube out. What? They, got, they did away with the deep creep. Quit. Guys are acting like children. Yeah, like you want to do it. We thank you guys for watching. We'll catch you next time. It's not going anymore. Keep going back and forth. Why do we have a fire? No way it's smoky. The ratchet won't move. This is right there, do not separate. <laughs>